Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can turn a Genesis 8.0 character into an 8.1 version of the same character by retaining literally anything and everything that makes up your character. This is a question I've received from one of my Patreon supporters, Anton. Hello, Anton. I hope this is helpful and I hope this is what you're looking for. He was asking, hey, what happens if I buy an object like a piece of clothing or an item that's made for Genesis 8.1? How do I use that on my 8.0 character if there is an error message, if it doesn't fit or whatever? And yes, that's a valid question. And of course, the answer to that is you convert your 8.0 character to the new figure generation and then use the intended item on the 8.0, sorry, 8.1 version of the same character. Let me show you how I do it. So I'm going to pick a suitable character that is that just looks so different from regular characters, regular humanoid characters, that I've immediately fallen in love with it, and that is the Snowman by Joe Quick. This is the guy here. This is a custom character made for Genesis 8.0 male. And if I bring him in, he comes in with various pieces of clothing already attached to him. So I'm gonna show you how to retain all that and make your own preset that basically behaves just like that when you bring him in to a new scene as an 8.1 version. I think the first thing I'm gonna do in the scene tab here is I'm just so that I don't get confused, I'm going to rename this guy to Snowman 8.0 because we're going to end up with two different versions of it. And I thought, you know, 8.0, might as well tell him apart from 8.1. What makes a custom character is really the shape of the character. So all the sliders that you've dialed in, all the morph dials that you've dialed in on the character, as well as the material preset. We need to save out both of these things and then apply them to a fresh version of the 8.1 figure in order for that to happen. That's number one. Number two is currently my character isn't just the character, it has parented items of clothing attached, namely the hat, the nose, the glasses and the scarf. I'm going to go and just make them invisible. Just go select the hat. I'll just turn these invisible. I'm not going to delete them. There's also the scarf here. And I'll just click that little eyeball icon just so that they that they disappear, including the nose. We're going to bring all these things back. Don't worry about it, Snowman. Your 8.0 version is going to look just fine. <laughs> So I'll select Snowman 8.0, I'll head over to my content library, and I've got a new library mapped here that I'll call Conversions. You don't have to do it this way, this is just something, this is why this is showing up, this might not show up in your case. It's just an empty folder that I've mapped inside the Content Directory Manager to accept DAS Studio content. That's, that's how I've done it. In 8.0, that's another folder I've made, I'm going to go and click that little plus icon at the very bottom of this window with the snowman selected. I'm going to save that as a character preset. And that's essentially a combination of the shape of the character as well as the material presets. If you want to have those separately, you can do that. Save out a shaping preset for all the morph dials that you've dialed in and a material preset for the materials that are applied on your character. But if you use the character preset, it'll basically do both of these things in one swift move. And if I do that, a window comes up that lets me give it a name. I'll call this one Snowman 8.0. It defaults to wherever this library is mapped. So hit save and there's a little window that comes up and it tells me, hey, would you like to save the shape and the material? Would you like to run a post load script? We don't want to do that. We also don't want to compress the file. It's good to know that we could, but let's go and hit accept. That Studio thinks about it for a moment and saves out all the relevant bits and pieces that I need to know about my character. I'll go ahead and grab my Snowman 8.0, move him slightly over to the side here just so that we can compare him versus the next guy that we're going to bring in. And that's from the Smart Content tab, just because I like working with the Smart Content tab. I'll head over to Figures and find my Genesis 8 Starter Essentials. And here they are. This is them. If I double click that, I get several options in here. And uh, two of them are the basic uh, Genesis 
eight figures, but I'm also getting a couple of these gray figures here. And those are the ones that I like to use. Those are called the dev rigs. They're installed by default, I believe, with the starter essentials. And they're essentially the same shape as the Genesis figures, but without any skin detail. I like using those because if something goes wrong in my material conversion, I can see clearly that there's gray patches on the character rather than seeing skin that's almost there, but not quite. So that's, that's easy to miss. That's why I'm using it. So I'm bringing in this guy here, Genesis 8.1 male dev load. If you have a female character, obviously bring in the Genesis 8.1 female dev load. Just double click it and hopefully that'll just load in as a separate figure here. And there he is, gray guy. So on him, with him selected here on the in the scene tab here, let's go and select Genesis 8.1 male and head over back to the content library and just double click the snowman 8.0 and that should bring up a window that says character loading options and that'll essentially ask me would i like to bring this guy snowman 8.0 in as a new figure in which case i'd have to click this i don't want to do that i want to apply this character to the currently selected figure which is the 8.1 figure i'm going to keep this as my option as a preference for the future. Hit accept. Let Das Studio do its thing and lo and behold, do we have another snowman in our scene. This one now has all the benefits of the 8.1 figure and we can barely tell the difference. Just so that I get organized here, I'm going to go over to the scene tab immediately. I'm going to go and select my Genesis 8.1 male and I'm going to call him snowman 8.1 just so that i know which one's which otherwise you know I'm, I'm one of those guys who forgets quite easily so um one thing i wanted to make you aware of is if you scrutinize your characters 8.0 and 8.1 side by side in fact let's do that we might not even see a difference i, I think i can already tell his face looks a little different than his face. And I think if we switch this over to IRA, we'll probably be able to tell those differences a little bit better. So the reason why you might see this, why you might find differences, is that the Genesis 8.0 figure and the 8.1 figure, they, they have pretty much the same geometry, but their subdivision level is set higher by default. It's not something you can't undo, but be aware that on the 8.1 figure, we have a default subdivision level of two, and on the 8.0 figure, we have a subdivision level default of one. So that means the 8.1 figure has more polygons implied on the surface. And the resolution isn't necessarily higher, but the subdivision setting is higher, and therefore we may see details that we didn't see on the 8.0 figure. So if I look at his nose here, maybe I, we can just about maybe see that. Don't know if it, how well this comes out on the video, but this is his nose here. And if I bring the, this is the 8.0 guy. If I bring over the, can I, can I bring him slightly closer? Let's see if I can make that happen. Just to just to compare the faces here. Let's go bring 8.1. No, actually 8.0 guy closer to 8.1 guy. Something like that. Come on, buddy. Come on, we can do it. If you look at them closely side by side, you might see differences. And I will show you how to where that setting is and how to how to mess with that so sometimes i've had a character recently that i worked with that had his her mouth closed in 8.0 but the mouth was slightly open or appeared to be slightly open in 8.1 and the reason for that was the subdivision level so yeah i can see there's a little bit more detail on the face here and that's just the sub d level let's see where that is if i go ahead and open my parameters tab with the 8.0 guy selected first. This is where that is under the general mesh resolution. Subdivision level is one. Gray value means it's the default value that comes with the figure. And if I select my 8.1 character, I can see that the subdivision level is two. So if you see something and you're not quite happy with that and you say, no, I'm a stickler for details, I want this to be exact, then just go on the 8.1 figure, drop this down to one, and you will see that that should now match exactly what your 8.0 character looked like. Usually you benefit from a higher subdivision level. It might even cause you slightly longer render times because there's just more geometry at render time that happens. But hey, it's one of those things. That is how you do that. I'm going to go and 
and delete snowman 8.0 from the scene because now we want to go and save snowman 8.1 out i'll do that twice actually the first thing you can do well you can you can literally just save him out now if you like but since he looks different to snowman 8.0 because he doesn't have all the clothing let's go and give him that and then save him out because that'll mean you can bring him in with the clothing on 8.1 just like the original figure was and you know that might be helpful i'll go back to my smart content here have a look at snowman snowman where are you snowman there you are snowman has accessories so one of them is well all of the accessories really there's a carrot i'll double click the carrot here there we go carrot he also has glasses let's go and give him glasses there's the snowman hat of course he needs to wear a hat because it's all cold outside and then there's the snowman scarf so let's go and give him that now the figure looks exactly like my 8.0 counterpart when i brought him in and if you're a stickler for detail, you can go through this and, you know, um, it's okay if you don't want to do that. But sometimes when you have two figures in the scene and you bring in the same item twice, Das Studio goes and appends um, a two in brackets. So thankfully, I've already deleted my thing, so they're all good. But if you have something like carrot brackets two, you might want to just get rid of that if you're, you know, if you're pedantic like, like I sometimes am or more organized than me, that is also possible. With Snowman 8.1, one selected i'll go back to my content library now and i'll go into the 8.1 folder because that's where i'd like to save all my 8.1 characters to get you know organized for 2021 we can do that and if i go and select that little plus icon here i can now either save a scene this will save literally everything about my scene including render settings and hdri setups and i don't really necessarily want to do that i just want to save my snowman and its parented clothing items to my library so i can use a scene subset and that's really handy because if i do that then first of all i get i get told well where do you want to save it it defaults to this path i'm going to call this snowman 8.1 hit save and then this little dialog pops up that says hey what items in the scene would you like to save so i don't want to save my filament draw options or my tone mapper options or my environment options all i want is my snowman and even here i can be very granular about what i want to save about it perhaps i don't want to save the carrot nose so i could untick that in my case i want that to happen so anything that's parented underneath the snowman will be saved including his material as well as his shape preset so let's go and hit accept and here he is this is now a scene subset which is great let's prove a point let's go delete snowman 8.1 from the scene and literally just go and double click this guy our thing that we've just saved and that should after a few seconds bring back snowman 8.1 in its glory with whatever subdivision level i've set on him and with whatever clothing items i've parented on him so that's how I do it, and it's it's been working quite well for me. Um, if you have any questions about this conversion process, then please let me know. I hope, Anton, this was good, and I hope you can now convert all your 8.0 characters, all the ones that you need, to 8.1 and reap all the benefits of the new figure. I hope you all found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.